Hey up troops, A Littleton here again with another video for the Astrali Sorsex YouTube channel. As you can probably tell already, this time we're looking at bulletproof cameras. Now as the name suggests, bulletproof cameras are, well, bulletproof cameras, they can be placed anywhere on walls, even floors, not a lot of people know that, but they can go on floors, in places where you can place utility. Now, you can bang a bulletproof camera on any wall almost, however, there's a certain way of placing them which is going to be a little bit more creative and give that camera more chance of gathering better intel and surviving longer. Now, bulletproof cameras used to be fixed. However, they've been through a buff recently, and you can now move them 360 degrees, and not just the person who placed the camera either. The entire defensive team can move that bulletproof camera around. Not only that, they can now fire an EMP dart or an EMP burst, which can disable attackers' gadgets for a period of time as well. Now you know about bulletproof cameras, let's go find out where to put them. Let's get stuck into it. So the first thing I want to show you about bulletproof cams these days, now they can move, actually the first thing I want to show you is the fact that I got Jaeger Black Ice yesterday. What's well, cool. Right, the second thing I want to show you is the fact that you can actually place bulletproof cams on the floor. Which doesn't seem that strong to begin with, right? You wouldn't just put it there anyway. However, now you can move bulletproof cams around. The fact that you have to put them on the floor makes no odds. They move just like, essentially, like a maestro camera. So, with that, uh, with that being shown there, if we go over here and use this corner, for example, you can place them in some real... Just a little bit further over to the right. You can place them in some really, really well-hidden areas where attackers aren't going to see the camera on the floor there. There's no way you notice that. However, now with being able to move it, you can see perfectly. And you've just got to be careful when you place it on the floor because you know how you can destroy it by shooting it in the side, but you can also destroy it by shooting it underneath as well. So it's not always the strongest place to put it. However, it does create some interesting places where you can hide cameras. So, the first thing to talk about when it comes to placing a bulletproof camera is to ensure that it's head on to the enemy. You don't want to be placing it side on like this. If I'm an attacker, yes, you can still see to the right because bulletproof cameras can move these days. But if I'm an attacker, you know you can destroy the bulletproof cam by just shooting the sides of it where the sort of soft inner electronics of the camera is. So, we can destroy that camera from here. If you want to protect the camera for as long as you can, try and look to protect the sides and protect the top and bottom and try and place them in cupboards where possible. There's a couple of spots on Oregon where you can do that and down in blue is one of these. Now this is crazy that that goes in there. Um, but you'll see the lenses below that shelf there. So when you jump on the cam, the shelf cuts off the top half of the image but you can still see everything below. Now as an attacker, you can't actually get an angle to shoot the sides here. So the camera is safe. It's going to need explosives to be destroyed. Obviously it can be knifed. Which will, uh, which will smash the glass on the front. But as an attacker, I don't think that's overly obvious. Obviously, we know it's there, but for an attacker, that might just look like books on the shelves or something. Once you get a bit closer, it becomes a bit more obvious, but it might give you just a little bit more information in blue, which is quite valuable. We've gone upstairs on Oregon now, and I think I might have shown you this one before when we were talking about the bulletproof camera, prox alarm, and barbed wire video, but I'm going to show it again because it's really worth knowing. You can get a cam on the wall there in this sort of shelving unit. You can see top white. You can see big window and you get sound over uh, onto kids as well. And obviously if there was a rotator, you'd get sound there as well. Quite difficult to destroy as an attacker. You've got to get really close to the sides to destroy it. You know, if you've got an attacker in this position here and he hasn't been, uh, he hasn't been swung from kids, then you're doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, really, really strong place for a bulletproof. I just want to use this part of the video to say, do me a favor. 75% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. Do us a favor. Make my day. Make Astralis's day. Sub to the channel. If you don't like the next video, you can always unsubscribe. But the content that comes out of this channel is really helpful, and hopefully you'll like the next one anyway. So yeah, sub to the channel. Do me a favor. Cheers. We're on to Clubhouse CCTV now, and you can actually get a bulletproof camera up here. You vault up onto this desk here. You walk around until you drop off slightly. You see the vault animation? You get up top. This is when it gets tricky. What we want to do is be able to stand up here now. However, you can't stand up until you fall off this just very slightly. You'll see me just fall slightly at some point when I keep tapping strafe left. Just there. Now we can stand up. You can get the bulletproof up top. And look at the view this gives you a sight. You can see all of the breach. You can see the default plant in this gap here. You can see garage rafters and garage window if anybody comes in. Really, really, really good bulletproof cam. This one's basement on Clubhouse or an Arsenal. What we're going to do is put the bulletproof cam on these white filing cabinets here. This will give you a really good view of the bottom of Main. All the way to the end there. We can see if I move out of the way. We can see a little bit of dirt. And you can also see into blue as well. Now you can make footholds along this wall here. And then this cam will give you more of an idea about if anyone's going through the church rotate. If I had a shotgun here it would be much easier to show you. But let's just pretend that's a shotgun hole. 
can also make footholds there and the camera will show you if anyone's going through the church rotate which is here so yeah another really good strong place on to upstairs on consulate now and i didn't know this until very recently but when i was streaming the other day people were telling me that they've known it for ages you can only vault onto this i knew you couldn't vault onto this like unit here but you can whilst this one vase is still here you can vault up over that onto there you can then if you get rid of the picture i don't like putting things on pictures you can then put your bulletproof cam on the top there and you can destroy this and you won't be able to vault back up there I didn't know that you can't vault up there without this vase. Anyway, that's just something I learned the other day. That's the beauty of Siege, man. You just learn things all the time. So, this is going to give you an idea of the back of CEO. Obviously, they're not going to be able to destroy you from the windows. Anyone on connector is not going to be able to destroy you. But the, the rotate, which is 99 times, 99 times out of 100, you rotate here. So, this cam is also, this cam is also going to be able to see into uh, to connector and connect a window as well if anyone's on there. Obviously, you can see down to the long desk. And the point that you can see there is actually way down onto to printer. All the way down here. So, if anyone's pushing from admin side, anyone's holding this printer angle, see the camera there? You can see your way at the end there. Really, really good long angle. Now, this is one of those where I was talking about placing on the floor. This doesn't give you the best view, but it probably will stay alive 99 times out of 100. Attackers are never going to know that that camera's there. However, it does give you a, a somewhat of an angle onto the circle desk. You, you know, you, it's not the best, but you can see if anyone's passing through, and you can certainly see down to, like, benches on the, the circle desk door here. Like I say, it doesn't give you the best view, but you still can see things, and you definitely can still hear things, and the enemies definitely know, won't know it's there. I actually quite like it, but I know people who don't, they don't race this, but go for it, see what the results are. Downstairs on consulate now, and I really like this one because it's so obvious, yet it goes unnoticed so many times. So you've got this sort of electrical box here. Um, what it is, I don't know, but it's some, something electrical. Um, you can actually get your bulletproof cam inside there. Again, the sides are pretty well protected. You've got to get a real tight angle to be able to destroy it there. But it, it just blends in so well with the surroundings there, I feel. Again, I, I say that all the time, but it, when we know it's there, it's glaringly obvious that there's a bulletproof cam there, right? But if you didn't know that was there and you just glanced across, that certainly wouldn't be standing out to me. Obviously, slightly different if you're on the cam and it's glowing bright blue for the enemy. But the, the, uh, the angle that it gives you there is obviously yellow stairs and you can see all the default plant areas down the side of white van and black core. Upstairs on chalet now, and we're going to use this window frame to get a sneaky bulletproof in behind it. You can't actually place it without standing on this. You can't place it from here. So what you've got to do is go over to this corner of the planter. You can't just vault sideways because you just go over straight over the top of it. You need to vault diagonally in towards the wall like this, and then you get on it. You've got to sort of sneak along. You can't be too fast. You've just got to go careful. Then when you get next to here, go as close to the window frame as you can. This is really, really well hidden from anyone coming up solar stairs. Obviously, you can barely even see that, and we know it's there. But when they get to this point here, you can see me there. They can't be seen until they get to that point. Like, if I sort of stand there, I'm going to be just out of the shot, so just know that they won't be seen until they get to here. But there's no way an attacker sees that there. As they're coming up the stairs, they shoot the default. There's no way they know that's there. And as they come in, they're certainly not looking left at that point. They're going to be looking at master door and bathroom door. And by that point, you can act on the information. Same floor, we're over on piano side now, though. Shoot, I, I think I showed you this on the um, bulletproof proxy um, barbed wire video, but I'm going to show again. Shoot out the books there in the middle. Some are more stubborn than others. Just punch them and they get rid of them easier. And we can get the uh, we can get the cam in there as well. Now that one's near sort of bulletproof. There's, you can't get shot from the side. Obviously, it can be knifed if they get close enough. That gives you really good views onto uh, onto the piano double door. And you can see some of the breach depending on the angle that they come through there. So if you see the camera there, they can depend, if they came straight through half wall, they wouldn't be seen. But if they came through this angle, they would get an angle on, uh, on viewing them, as you can see there. We're in basements on Chalet now, and I really wasn't going to mention this one because it's so glaringly obvious and people have used it on this side for years, but I'm going to do it anyway whilst we're here. Just vault on the box, get the bulletproof on the wall. It's going to need explosives to, or utility to uh, to destroy it. And if you do, you want a couple of ADSs here to just be able to soak that up. And even if that does get destroyed with utility, at least that's a piece of utility that's had to be used to get rid of that. But the information uh, that you can get from that with main stairs and a little bit of blue for the sound is huge. We're upstairs on cafe now, and you're just going to have to trust me with this one. The only thing you've got to worry about here is this window. So what you want to be doing is looking at this chair leg and this table leg and placing the bulletproof on the floor in between the two, okay? 
Now, like I say, if anyone's on this window, it's fairly obvious it's there and it can be destroyed with one shot there. If somebody doesn't come to that window, this works way more than you think it should. So we can't see it from minibar. But we can see minibar. You can see my leg there. You can see it if I step left a little bit. You can see that whole area there. You can see top red. Like that. See the run out from top red. Now, we know it's there, as I keep saying. However, if you didn't know that was there, there's no way you'd even notice it remotely. Um, you're pushing pixel, you know, it's... Even when it's in the peripherals of the... Uh, when you're ADS, you still aren't going to notice it, in my opinion. But you can see all the way around piano with this. Top red, mini bar, stage, round to pixel. Like I say, it's this window that you've just got to worry about. But for me, it works more times than it doesn't. We're still upstairs on cafe, and this one is another floor-based bulletproof that works even better than the one in piano. So we're going to put it behind this trolley here, directly on the floor against the wall. And there's absolutely no way you're seeing it. It's coming round from New Hatch. You know, even that, even we, <laughs> I keep saying it. We know it's there. We know it's there. I can't even see it. I think that's it there. No, I didn't even get the ping on it. There it is. You're never going to see it. However, the info this gives, this is like the busiest area of the map here when the plant's going to go down late in round. It's either going to go down here on trash or it's going to go down on uh, default or shike or whatever you want to call it here. But even when you're pushing around here and you're going to plant trash and you're planting here, obviously if you turn right, you're going to see it. But, you you know, you're never going to come around this trolley and be going like that, are you? You're never going to see it. And it works. I don't think it's ever not worked for me. You can see that whole area there. A little bit of freezer, obviously. Don't make the footholes into piano because then it will be seen. You know, if you... I see sometimes you have a side set up with footholes here. And if that's the case when you're in piano, or the, the attackers are in piano rather, you know, they can see it, it's quite obvious there. However, if they don't see it, you do get some free info that way. But yeah, they, use it just for this side, really. Dropping new hatch and seeing anyone coming through a cigar shop and coming around onto default and trash here. Really, really solid. We're on to Villa now, and I'm going to show you two on Villa. One is top main to watch classical hallway here. There's some books normally on this shelf, but if you just punch them out like I did the ones above just there, you can place a cam within this cupboard. Not only is it covered by the leaves, obviously nobody coming up main or coming from study is ever going to see that. The only time they're going to see it if they've got razor sharp eyes is when they're on 90 there, but it blends in really well. You can see all the way down. And as we talked about before, you can't shoot the sides on this one. You're going to have to uh, to use some uh, explosives to get rid of it. Really, really useful. The second one is over here in Astro. You've got to do exactly the same thing. We punch out the books. And it'll just slot in there on the bookcase. Gives a really good overview of Astro and a bit into bathroom. Obviously, your Astro stairs as well. You'll have a rotate here sometimes where you can see a bit through as well. The rotate is sort of in this area. So using that as well, you can see a bit into trophy. So there we have it. There's some great bulletproof camera spots on rank maps, which can hopefully try and win you a few more games. It gives you incredible intel and they're usually pretty well protected. Even if the attacker has to destroy them, consider that still a good thing in a way because they've had to use utility to destroy that camera, which means there might be another gadget like a Malusi Banshee or a Castle Barricade or whatever it is that is now going to go not destroyed because the utility was already spent on the camera. For me personally, I put my own Siege tips and tricks content on my own YouTube channel as well. The socials are above us as we speak. I also stream on Twitch four days a week, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday at 8pm UK time. So give us a sub on YouTube, come and say hello on Twitch. Cheers. As always, a massive thank you to Astralis for having me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Cheers.